Fabiani here for Asseter Auctioneers and the Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item number 66, a 1959 Dodge Coronet Police Interceptor. Before you open the hood, let's take a peek at this beautiful 1959 specific grill and front end design. Sinister as heck, but really nice uh, grill work. The bumper looks fantastic. License plate is California uh, L. JP228, and again, I'm thinking this is probably a former CHP, California Highway Patrol, two-door police interceptor. Let's pop the hood and see what we got. Okay, yep, yeah, this is the 383 four-barrel engine. Uh, we see manual drum brakes, and those are going to be 12-inch diameter police brakes on this one, not the 11s you'd find on a, a lesser vehicle. The air cleaner is the original style with the circle, the open element. These have been added, these little snorkels. Somebody decided to put those on there like little elfin ears, but again, this is the correct air cleaner for a uh, four-barrel vehicle. There's the AFB Carter four-barrel carburetor in place. Uh, this one has a generator. Of course, 1961 was the first year for alternators on Mopars. Down here, the police siren right there. Uh, it's about a uh, Peco C-Mite series, but there it is, a police siren. Pull over, pull over. <laughs> Uh, front sway bar in place, not seen on regular cars. The sway bar, of course, helps this car handle better. Manual steering down here. And as we make our way along the driver's side, uh, the Coronet logo is in, in place. The fenders are very, very, very solid. Magnet wants to stick everywhere. I don't see any rust, no perforation. Uh, a little bit of, that's wax right there. That's just wax that somebody put on there. Uh, the little wigwag, one on each side. These, of course, are for checking out... Uh, people on the side of the road. Uh, the doors are very, very solid. Okay, down low here, a little bit of holes, some pitting, uh, which, uh, you know, I'm surprised there's not more. Again, these late 50s Mopars were notorious for, for rusting. Okay, it's trade places, Mr. Photographer, and we'll look inside. And okay, this one has a three-speed push-button torque flight. To the left of the steering wheel is the button pod. Uh, the speedometer is a 125 mile per hour unit, or 120, and it's certified. It says certified, so that's admissible in court. Uh, it has the factory AM radio, kind of an unusual thing, uh, bench seat front, and the VIN tag on the door pillar. Uh, it reads, let me get in here real quick. We've got M394. M is the 1959 model year, 3 is the Coronet, 9 is the special model, in other words, police, 4 is the Los Angeles assembly plant. So it all adds up. This is more than likely a former CHP two-door highway patrol interceptor car. Again, it's a two-door sedan with the pillar. Lower quarter panels here are very, very solid. The magnet wants to stick everywhere. That's fantastic. A little bit of bubbling here, not that uncommon. Again, these Exner era Mopars were notorious for bubbling up. Fender lip is beautiful. Quarter extensions down here. Very nice. This is just dirt falling out of here. That's not metal. Really solid. Magnet sticks all the way around. Beautiful. Love the, uh, the fins here, 1959 specific. The tail lamps are still present. And here on the back, the deck lid is beautiful. No rust down low, none of that kind of stuff. Don't have a key, can't open that. Uh, okay, license plate here, November 2011, California 59 Dodge X Highway Patrol, I believe that. Dual exhaust, of course, part of the 383 four-barrel uh, interceptor, 325 horsepower engine. Lower quarter panels here, very, very nice. And again, uh, a little bit of fading or wax or something, but again, the wheel lip, uh, small amount of bubbling right here. Five years from now, that'll probably blossom, but right now, that's feeling good. There's no Bondo, no plastic in here. The magnet sticks beautifully. This is metal. Let's take a peek down here. A little bit of bubbling right there. It's a classic location for trouble on these cars, but the magnet sticks to it, so that's not plastic. That's just regular rust coming on through. Again, nobody's doctored this up. That's good. And on the rear package tray, Look at this, the CHP red pullover lights right there, still in place. Okay, let's pop the uh, passenger side door. Look inside, yeah, the door panel is very, very nice. That's original stuff right there. It's pretty decent. You could clean that and use it again. Inside, of course, the uh, bench seat, heavy duty upholstery, push button torque flight. And I see what might be signs of red paint here. 
Uh, it is possible. I'd have to look up the paint on this car, but this might have been a black and white that was sprayed red and then sprayed white and black again in the 80s, perhaps as a restoration. But uh, this is no doubt a two-door police version of the 59 Coronet. Again, another wigwag here, spotlight. And the rust factor down low, zero. The magnet sticks and continues to stick all the way up and through here. So that's the story of number 66, a 59 Dodge Coronet two-door post former police car, 383 four barrel automatic transmission. The thing with these is these police cars were generally used up and then thrown away within a year or two of their being uh, decommissioned. So it's incredibly rare for police models to survive, let alone 1959 Coronets with their police sirens and lights. This is a special car, don't let it get away.